excited to take you through all the planning and prep for a dinner party I'm hosting tonight for a few of my girlfriends. The theme of the dinner is a dream planning dinner party and this is just something I've been looking forward to for quite some time because I personally love to hear about others dreams and desires and what they really hold close to their heart and I would just love to have this gathering to sort of foster that encouragement where we all can just celebrate each other's dreams and speak them into existence and once we know each other's dreams we can also encourage each other throughout the months and years so that's what's on the agenda tonight and i'm again just really excited and thankful to be doing this so i already started prepping a bit but i'm going to show you every detail and i'm just oh we could not have a more beautiful day which is just so lovely and will really enhance the ex experience so today is january 7th and january in florida you never know what you're gonna get but it's about 75 degrees and sunny so it's really lovely and my plan is to serve dinner outside so we'll have an al fresco dinner and then once we finish that we'll come inside and work on dream boards and i just have like some activities and whatnot so Let's get to it. I want to start by arranging the tables outside and making the tablescape just so that we have that out of the way. And then we're also going to be making homemade pasta today, which I love to do it. It's really so worth it, but definitely more time consuming. So I want to make sure I don't leave that until the last minute. I want to go ahead and get started on that. So we have plenty of wiggle room and we're not feeling all rush and frantic. So let's start outside with the tablescape and then we'll go from there. I wanted to show you my outfit really quickly because I decided to just go ahead and get dressed because whenever I'm hosting something, I've noticed that time truly flies by and I'll catch myself like five minutes before people arrive just throwing on my outfit. So I wanted to just already have it on and it's quite comfy. It's this beautiful maxi dress. It actually might be a midi dress, but it's a maxi dress on me and I'll probably just wear my socks or be barefoot tonight because it's just pretty relaxed. And then I sort of ran with the butterfly theme because I feel like butterflies are a great symbol of growth and different seasons of life and I love them. So we have these butterfly clips and I think I'm gonna rearrange them a little bit but I just popped them in for now because I was excited to see what they looked like. It's my first time wearing them. And then for Christmas, my mom actually got me this butterfly temporary tattoo. I just put it on about 30 minutes ago and I'm supposed to leave the plastic on it for an hour. So we'll see what it looks like and I'm pretty sure it's gonna stay blue for a few hours and then it'll darken to a black ink color but kind of fun and of course very on theme so that's what we're working with and like I said this dress is easy to move around in so it'll still be comfortable while we set up and now my timer is going off for the sourdough because I baked some sourdough to go along with the pasta I made these name place cards earlier in the morning and I just took some paint and some thicker paper to make them but I really like the little squiggly border I thought that was cute and then as I was setting up we had this serendipitous moment where this sweet butterfly kept fluttering around and I managed to capture it on video for a few seconds but that was really special to me grooving I have been moving a little too much because that temporary tattoo that I put on it started to bleed a little bit because it specifically said avoid a lot of movement and sweat and it's so nice outside I don't feel like I got sweaty but I was moving my arm so much and since it is at the crease of where my elbow is it bled a little bit but I still think it'll be cute it'll just have a little quirky 
uh, touch to it, but the next task on my agenda that I want to work on is creating our little clipboards. So this is specifically for the dream planning session. So basically everyone has a clipboard and then I'm going to put a pen with everybody's clipboard. And then I have this cute little notepad so they can specifically write certain dreams, goals, habits, whatever on this note sheet. And then we'll do vision boards with this little canvas. Here's our cute setup. I'm actually gonna move the flowers and the cups outside, but I just wanted to wait a little while until right before. These flowers will be fine because they're actually dried flowers, but we do have some fresh ones over here. So I'm just waiting until a little closer to showtime. And then what else did I wanna show you? Oh, okay, so these are tape runners and I love these tape runners. I use them for scrapbooking, but I think it'll be helpful for our vision boards as well. And I printed out a bunch of pictures from Pinterest. I We don't have a color printer at our house, so I used staples. So basically I was able to order it online and then pick it up at their store. So that was pretty handy. So basically people can cut out any inspo pictures that speak to them and add it to their board. I'll also put some pens and stuff so in case anybody wants to write something specific, they can do that. But now it's time to get started on our pasta. I also wanted to show you these little butterflies I got for the cake. We'll need to add these on soon. They say they're edible, but honestly, I would not recommend eating them just because they feel kind of plasticky. They probably don't taste the best, but they are super, super adorable. It's 
it's about the hour before people start to arrive where you think of all the little things you have yet to do and ooh, it just i have to remind myself that this is no stress this is not a stressful thing it is such a blessing to be able to do this and my friends are coming over it's not like the president of the united states is coming over sometimes i just have to remind myself it is not that intense and there really is no reason to feel frantic or overwhelmed so that's just what's going on in my head at the moment but we're getting close with the pasta i have the water boiling i need to work on the green beans my friend Liz is almost here though, so she'll be my my helpful lady and it'll all be great. But it's looking really, really sweet out there. I also, I haven't showed you yet, but I also moved my record player and a lamp out there so we can have some additional ambiance. prepare for something new whatever it was that held me back I'm sure it wasn't true holding on too long and unresolved questions hold you down what could have been a friendly smile has turned into a frown I'm moving on changes around me on and on I feel I must whatever happened to me happened for my highest good I read that in so many books now it's almost understood I'm moving on If you're looking to begin, then look no further than within. I'm satisfied with what I've got and still eager for more. The change that you've been looking for will come knock on your door. On and on. on, and, on. and that's a wrap. I am so tired. I'm ready to turn this dream planning party into real sleeping dreams. It was so sweet though. I'm really so grateful. It turned out better than I could even hope for. And I'm just really grateful for the memories and the time that we got to encourage one another and celebrate each other's dreams. And I just love to hear what was on everybody's mind and what they're trying to pursue this upcoming year so it was really special and again i'm just super grateful i did want to show you my little dream board that we put together i actually love the size of them they are quite small so you couldn't fit too much on it but i like that because you it sort of forced you to be more intentional with it and it's very portable you could put this in your office you put it in your bedroom you could put it in your car if you drive a lot that can be kind of cute did I tell you where I got these? I got these from um, the little canvases. I got them from Joanne Fabrics. So I'm sure any craft store would have them. 
but this is what I put together for mine. We have this fun little collection of feathery outfits and that just sort of symbolizes fun outfits because I just love dressing in color and love putting together fun looks. And then we have this, this is more for the color story of it all, but we have this cute little butterfly ice cube in this pink drink. Then this quote says, prioritize your peace of mind. And then this little seashell just symbolized my love for the ocean and I want more of that in the new year. And this, okay, this is amazing. Saw this on Pinterest. It's a baguette with candles in it, which I actually wanted to recreate tonight because I just think that's so fun. Why not put candles in your baguette? But we, we already had a lot going on. I did not get to that, but I just thought that was fun and that sort of symbolizes just to have fun. Like why not put candles in your baguette? It's fun, so do it. It's, you know, it's just a way to add flair. So, I thought that was fun. And then, how many times can I say fun? And then we have a butterfly, which you know I love my butterflies. And I made it sort of 3D <laughs> and bent the, the wings. And then this is a beautiful portrait of a landscape and the pink sky. I just thought that was a beautiful color. And then this quote, creativity flows through me freely. I always want to strive for that and just strive to stay inspired and make sure that everything I'm consuming is, you know, making my mind more at peace and calm and fostering a creative space where I can have, have the time to think of creative ideas. I'm not just always putting stuff in my brain, but like giving myself time to think am i making sense please i am so tired like i said i am sleepy sleepy so hopefully i'm making sense but it's a great quote and then we have the sky just symbolizes dreaming and i just think that's very beautiful and then coffee in bed to me that symbolizes slowness and wanting to have those peaceful mornings and slow rhythms of life Hopefully my camera has been focusing too. Okay, and then is there one? Oh yeah, of course, the little baby coffee mug. Just so sweet. So that is what we're working with and my friend Alexis had this really fun idea. She brought over everyone a bottle of Prosecco and basically the idea is on your bottle you write one big dream, kind of like your main dream for this upcoming year. And when it comes into fruition, when it comes true, or when you, when you accomplish that goal, you pop open that bottle and celebrate. And I just thought that was a really cute idea and it was a fun souvenir for everyone to take with them in addition to the vision boards and whatnot. So really fun idea, fun gift idea too. So again, really grateful for tonight and I hope that this video maybe provide some inspiration so that you could plan a little dinner party for your loved ones or for yourself and just always want to encourage you all to pursue a life full of listening more to our dreams and less to our fears and trying to stay inspired together because this this life it's crazy right okay i'm gonna just ramble all night i gotta get to bed but thank you so much for watching and spending time with me i hope you all are well and i cannot wait to see you next bye